is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone could take you back to my youth And show you what I wish I knew My will is strong with a place to lean In the moment I hung best belief The other ring of my wrist is gold Pairing with the light it holds When I return from my spinning ball I'm remembering the words you told Back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling But the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling But the feeling is all gone Dartmoor this evening. We've got an amazing sunset just about to happen. We've got rock formations just here. It's all going on. And we're at F16 and ISO 100, 15th of a second. And I'm just going to wait for that sun to creep down behind those clouds. But I think this is going to be a keeper. So, right, I'm just going to focus on. <laughs> I'll try that again. So I'm just going to focus on this rock just there and that should give me some good focus front to back including this foreground rock here. Right, I think I'm going to throw a self portrait in there. I've got a 10 second timer and I'm just going to leg it down there and try not to fall off a rock. I think what I'm also going to do for safety is do a three image bracket with a half stop either side. When I return from the afterglow, will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, hold on, put me together, take me back where I belong. I want it all. Back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone.
Morning team. Well, that was a cold one last night. I'm not gonna lie, it was about two degrees and I kept all of my clothes on, including my ski pants <laughs> and my big woolly socks. Um, it's about 5.30 in the morning and I'm gonna do myself a little breakfast, a cup of tea, and then pack up and then head over to Fogintor Quarry, which is over that away, about half a mile. Um, but there is some rain forecast for this morning, so I'm not sure what we're gonna get. But, um, and I wanna show you my new tripod, this baby. This is Fogintor Quarry and it is a sight to behold. So this is the entrance to the quarry and I've got a nice little composition here. I've got a 24 millimeter lens on the camera and on the front of the lens I've got a polarizer and on the front of the polarizer I've got a three stop ND filter. I'm gonna take two exposures, one for the sky and the polarizer should bring out the detail in that sky, a uh, fifteenth of a second for that shot and the second shot I'm gonna shoot at a fifth of a second and that should smooth out the water. So this is my new tripod from KNF Concept called the SA254T1. <laughs> Bit of a mouthful. Uh, I wish they'd give these cool names like the Tripatron or the Three-Legged Wizard or something. Anyway, KNF Concept sent me one of these to try out and it is fast becoming my favorite tripod of all the tripods that I own, of which there are plenty. They class this as a lightweight compact tripod. Um, I wouldn't necessarily call this a travel tripod. If you're on a hike like I'm doing, you might want something with a smaller footprint like my Ben Row, for instance, which is what you're currently sat on. But for its size, it is pretty lightweight. And here it is, the build quality, the sturdiness, the performance and the features of this totally outclass the Ben Row. Um, the ball head just feels so over-engineered and strong. And the best part about it is it's got a fluid panning motion in the base. So if you're a videographer as well as a photographer, um, you're gonna get some beautiful B-roll panning shots. This is gonna go in the bag all day long. It's got a detachable monopod. Um, so if you're a nature photographer, that can be really handy. Or if you're a hiker, it doubles as a hiking stick. I'm on a hike. It's also the tallest tripod I have ever seen. I 
just thought I'd document my trip by including both locations in one image. Nothing special here, just an 85mm lens. I'll focus stack two photos together, both images at f9, 160th of a second, and ISO 100. So it's the middle of the day now, which we all know isn't great for shooting photography. So it all comes down to composition. And I've got these trees that are growing into this wall, leading up to the ruins with the moody sky in the background. And right away I'm thinking black and white image because we've got beautiful dappled sun on the tree coming through this other tree here. I'm at 200th of a second, F16, ISO 200. And I'm just focusing a third of the way into the shot. So we should be able to get this in one frame. 